Hi and welcome back to my channel, Enchanted Divination. My name is Autumn and I'm so happy to have you here with me today. Thank you so much for tuning in with me, whether you are new to the channel or returning. I just want to say hey and welcome in. Today, our topic for today's reading will be any messages that time has for you. So any message that meant that is meant to reach you right now time wants to let you know what it is so we're going to dive into some oracles and some tarot and get more details about what that message or messages may be um, i always start off my readings with some sound bowl healing so if you want to use this time to cleanse your energy you definitely can i'm just i like to start off my readings to cleanse out the energy and space so messages can come through with clarity and to be concise as well so let's get into it just turn on the volume in case it is a little loud for you in the beginning and let's dive into it reading and the topic how many messages time has for you at this moment and speaking of time my readings are always timeless meaning that whenever this video is posted and you come across it whether it has been days weeks or months after it's uploaded, if there are ever any messages at any given point that resonate with you, that's the message that's meant to reach you at this time. dive into what time wants to let me know. Okay, I like one more. What kind of messages does time have for you at this moment? with the cards that we have unveiled we have manifestation also have the number eight which is the number of abundance gains expansion any kind of increase and we also have Number nine, completion. And nine definitely represents what is stated, completion. So nines, if you tend to see like nine, 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 
typically that means um, like the ending of a chapter, something coming to a close, um, kind of marks the end of a cycle and another one beginning. So that's why we have completion for number nine. And for the first card they came out, ooh, I love to see it. Number 85, follow your dreams. And now that I'm looking at them all together, I'm like, yes. Following your dreams, following your heart, your intuition is leading you to manifest at a higher rate, at a higher level. Um, and by you following your dreams, that could mean some parts of your life may be coming to a close or there's some ending of a chapter, maybe at a certain workplace or a certain career or maybe goal, maybe some kind of expectation or trajectory that you were following at this time. Oh, I already like cannot wait to go a little bit deeper into the tarot. I thought I was going to do oracles next, but honestly, I think I'm going to start clarifying and then we can um, do oracles at the end. But definitely, for many of you, you are going after your desires, going after your dreams, your goals more fiercely, and I'm already getting the sense of it paying off, um, you just being in higher alignment with yourself and path. Following your dreams also doesn't have to be like a grand like goal or achievement, anything that you desire. Even if it's your dream to travel more, to have a healthier lifestyle. My first thing that comes to mind though is is like career or something like more in that field but it doesn't have to be limited to careers maybe it's a hobby as well that you've been wanting to pick up for a while and i also see this card as just being more intuitive and just listening, really listening to yourself, listening to the thoughts that come up. I just feel like anything that's kind of been prominent on your mind, something that you've been wanting to do, or achieve, manifest, go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Okay, I think I'm done shuffling. Just wanted to shuffle while kind of like the last few messages come out in that section, but I feel like they have now, so give it like one or two more shuffles and then we'll start diving a little deeper.
Alright. Let's start clarifying these things. So we have follow your dreams. Why is that in a message coming from time to you at this moment? I think I am going to take it in reverse. I don't know. I feel like if they flip out and it comes out reverse, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take it. Um, the reverse, this is the moon card, by the way, in the tarot deck. We have shadow. And with shadow in reverse, lets me know that maybe there has been some kind of doubt. Maybe some confusion happening. We're going to go in further, of course. We're going to get a little bit more details about this. But whenever I see the moon card or shadow in reverse, lets me know that something's not being seen clearly. There's some kind of confusion, um, muddy vision, maybe some kind of doubt coming to the forefront. Oh, y'all saw how that just flew straight out and it went straight on to like this card is all the way over here. My hands are over here and it flew way over there. <laughs> so I know this is meant to go here. And oh, I didn't even let you know what it is. <laughs> we have base chakra number one. And this let me know that maybe you have been not been putting forth the energy towards following your dreams because maybe there was a lack of balance present. Um, also, base chakra kind of lets me know what I was saying earlier that maybe there was some kind of fear or self-doubt, um, some kind of instability, which may have led to you not putting in the energy into following your dreams or following your desires, your intuition, etc. But your base chakra is all about stability, um, being grounded, and maybe there was something that had you um, maybe a little bit out of whack, a little bit out of balance. And as to why um, you haven't been maybe putting too much energy into your goals, but whatever you've been experiencing is definitely... Um, the energy is moving. I mean, already with 85, 8, 9, it seems like when there's consecutive um, continuous numbers like that, like 8, 9, 10, or 5, 6, 7, lets me know that, you know, the energy is moving. And that's exactly what we have is positive movement forward. So whatever you have been experiencing... It's forcing you to kind of whip things into gear so you can start focusing on your goals and your dreams. I also see the base chakra too now that, um, that you are focusing on your stability and, uh, excuse me. That's why that you are experiencing that positive movement forward. And of course, sacral chakra. And it's like now we're moving up in the chakras as well. We're now from one to two. So again, it seems like the energy is moving that the energy is no longer stagnant and it's moving up through your body. So 
maybe your energy is being shifted and like i was saying that your experiences now has made you your energy shift um that whatever you are experiencing is now helping you to become more aligned and more balanced and maybe this lack of clarity or um this instability you know when we experience those challenges in our life you know ultimately it's there for a lesson so you can learn and see what is the bigger lesson out of it and i definitely see you doing that you being able to sift through the mud and through unclear times seeing through it and now your energy is flowing and the energy is moving we'll clarify with one more card and we have destiny went onto my knee caught it with my knee and this is the wheel of fortune card and which which is another card of movement so again letting me know that the tides are changing energy is being shifted um i also like to see this card um with like with heart chakra heart energy associated with it because of how she's holding her hands across her heart center and the green glow and i i feel that following your dreams is following your heart and that card which is the wheel of fortune in in the og tarot um this card is destiny and destiny is to me i see that connected to following your dreams following your destiny following your path all right so let's get into this next section and see what's going on over here with manifestation universe can we receive more details about number eight We have suffering in silence for our first card. I'm definitely going to have to clarify because I definitely see this kind of being connected to the shadow card. It may be going through more, more of that like inner, um, turmoil or those inner um, parts of yourself that maybe has come up to the surface and that needed to be um, resolved and dealt with um, or you know those experience of um, self-doubt or instability lack anything like that um, maybe you have been you know toiling with those things on your own it's like two cards where i see now where there's the sun on the horizon so even if you have been going through that for some time it looks like the sun is rising again kind of reminds me of the five of cups giving me the five of cups energy for sure where the person is crying or um emotional in the card with i think it's three cups in front of them that fell but there's two almost like behind them where they're upright and in the distance the sun is rising so even though there may have been some pain some troubles some trials that you're experiencing in your present or what's in front of you there's still the sun rises again you know after a dark day after a long dark night the sunlight will rise again and i that's the kind of energy that i i am getting from this card um that there are still gifts waiting to be bestowed upon you 
Um, there's still goals to be achieved that even in the midst of the trials, you still have things to look forward to. The sun will rise again. It's such pretty like color combo too, kind of matchy matchy as well. We have third eye chakra with passion ignited. And that is letting me know that I think you understand, you know, the energy and the seasons that you're experiencing at this time and instead of having like a a sour like negative outlook on it you understand that it's just a part of you know your experience at this time so you understand you know when the challenges do come up it's not a surprise and it's something that you are going to be able to manage and if you need resources or someone to lean on, you can. But I feel like you you may be the type to kind of do those um, like kind of more interpersonal journeys and, you know, um, growth spurts and those lessons on your own rather than maybe you know letting someone know you may be a little bit more quiet about more challenging times as well so i think i think there's a message here of even though it's not present i i'm just picking it up that you don't have to do it alone um but if you do feel more comfortable of course i do as you need and what you are comfortable with um, but not all challenges have to be done or fought alone that's just something that I'm kind of pick up picking up um, it may not resonate with everyone but I feel like if it's on my mind I definitely want to relay it to whoever it may resonate with but um, Aside from that, third eye chakra with passion ignited lets me know that you are following your intuition and it's leading you exactly as you need. Um, you know when to strike, you know when to move, um, you know when to scale back, and you understand that when challenges do come up that it's something that you don't have to lose your mind over and you understand like all circumstances are temporary good or bad and you are able to lean on to your intuition when you need and I also see that through um, this new movement or the shift that you are experiencing um, is again just leading you closer to your highest desires your passions your dreams and you are manifesting the life of your desires and maybe you just feel like you've been on this road for so long um, and have been doing it for a while on your own um, but I feel that you are you will be and you are seeing the the fruits of your labor Especially when you shift into the energy of following your desires and your passions. You'll definitely see a shift in your world. Nice. Light. Which is the sun card. So more fire. Um more sacral solar more so more so solar 
chakra energy here. There's action being made. Um, manifestation is like, you know, there's action that had to be put behind this manifestation. So you are aligning more with your passion. Um, you're following your intuition. Um, you're leading and operating from a place of joy and fulfillment and that again will be reflected in your manifestations and in your desires i was going to clarify more but the sun card i mean i was saying earlier the sun rises again and the sun comes out so i don't feel i need to clarify any further because like like i said the sun will, will rise again and here is the sun now so understand not all challenges are here forever they have their moments their seasons their moments their little eras and they will move on and a new era and a new season will approach and i definitely see why we have completion here because again there is an energy shift happening for you at this time for sure you're shifting into higher vibrations into your more higher desires highest desires and on your path your divine path Let's start clarifying this last section. We have completion number nine. Why is that an, a message from time at this moment? I saw, I think it was, um, yes, material harvest. And thank you, solar plexus, for coming out because... That was literally what I was saying. And we have the sun again coming up. So if maybe some of you are very connected to the sun. Um, enjoys working with fire, fire energy. Or you have fire in your chart. Lovely, 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 lovely. Authority, solar plexus, material harvest. I mean, it's clear that the manifestation power is here. So, if you have been pushed or you've been seeing the signs, following your intuition, listen to it. It is guiding you. Um, and the more you listen to it, it will become more and more strengthened. And again, we have base sacral, now solar. In this last section, I was just saying the sun is just very prominent and giving solar plexus and it's coming out again. So y'all gotta let me know if any of these messages are resonating with you because the sun energy is here. I love the sun. The sun is like, ugh, I love sun energy. I love fire fire signs just anything to do with like the sun i just love it um completion with authority is letting me know that again you're just standing firm in your experiences that you understand you know when things come up you know you are not backing down from from challenge anymore maybe there was times where you were a little bit more doubtful and you operated more in a lack or fear based mindset and I think that you shifting your energy maybe into a more abundant mindset or literally just following your feelings more 
aka following your intuition aka following your dreams that it is just again just opening up your energy and just it, i just see alignment um as i was saying in the beginning it seems like we are just working from the ground up and the ground up as in like the base up um more so referring to chakras but i mean we can use that same reference you know as far as you know the energy for this reading and you know through following your dreams for some that may be starting from the ground up and just expect abundance and material harvest through your actions and through the energy that you put into following your dreams um i just had a thought and it kind of lost me again um oh no it came back to me how the material harvest card is literally what i was saying earlier just being able to enjoy the fruits of your labor there's literally fruits here and so that again is just letting me know that the energy that you're putting out you'll be re rewarded back tenfold gonna go in and clarify a bit more I saw it it was moving on I didn't see the second one though two sixes by the way moving on in memories of love which two two to me is like letting me know that there is something again that was either had to be released let go there's something that was completed here and that's the section that we're under is completion and for some this may mean letting go of some kind of maybe goal or expectation desire that you may initially had for yourself already that may no longer be able to um be fulfilled or you cannot continue with it as you move forward um, or as this completion is being experienced at this time and i believe that may be something i mentioned in the beginning that i think i mentioned it under follow your dreams maybe that um there may be some kind of career change but it doesn't have to be career maybe it's just like a way of living um leaving family or friends behind to Maybe you always wanted to move to another country or go to school in a different state, anything. But again, there's something here where it, almost as if like something had to be left behind now, something had to be put in the past. Moving on, it literally is like something is left in the past, something had to come to a close. And now he's moving into more light, more abundant, more opportunities ahead. I'm going to get one more cord and then that will close out the tarot section for this reading. We have firm foundation, which to me kind of reminds me of the base chakra card. Firm foundation I definitely see as finding your stability, building from a strong source or a strong firm foundation and literally building on top of that. 
and again what you are experiencing at this time is literally building a firmer foundation for yourself like i was saying to um with the chakra cards in the beginning here that they there may have been some times of muddiness and confusion so now moving forward when those things do come up you understand i i've gone through this i've experienced this i've seen this i understand it and you know there's no need to to trip or to to almost be like blindsided when it does so you know when things get shaken up that you your foundation is firm nothing is going to impede on you know what you've built upon i also just see this too as literally you just expanding and building on your dreams as well or on your manifestations or whatever you are manifesting or whatever that goal is that you are currently in a moment of building a more firm foundation to reach that point Ooh, okay. I think we are good here. I feel like if any other messages come through, I will say so. But I think I'm going to start moving on to the oracles. At least start shuffling them. No other messages are really coming up. I feel like everything that needed to be said has been said. And I don't want to continue repeating myself. I feel like the message that needed to get out there is out there. And if it reached you, you know that message was for you. some affirmations that we can use as further guidance for the energy of this reading. Thank you. I'll pull the two. We have I am discerning I love myself enough to say no to people and situations that do not serve my highest good. I am discerning. Yes, love this, love this, love this, love this. I also kind of just see this too as anything. It doesn't have, well, it says to people and situations. So I feel like saying no and the affirmation of I am discerning can be applied on so many different levels to so many different things. And for some, maybe you are utilizing the power of no and saying no to things that are not for you. And maybe you've known or maybe you already knew or maybe you are coming to a point where you're like, this does not serve me. Like, I do not find happiness out of this. 
this house is serving me it's not so checking up the deuces like i really do feel like you are just taking a more authoritative charge to your life you're just really taking um the wheel and you know you're letting the wheel navigate you and you're also just falling into alignment with it and trusting you know wherever you're being navigated and along the way it's teaching you to just say no if something does not serve you you don't have to stay there you are in control of your life and I feel for some of you, you're really utilizing the power of no. And maybe that's something that has not always been a boundary for you or has been easy for you to always pick up and flex and use when it was necessary. Nice! Yes! I love it because it goes exactly with the energy of this reading. I am ambitious. I put my goals and ideas into action. I take a leap of faith and I believe in myself. When I put my heart's desires into action, it is for the good of all those involved. I am ambitious. Yes. Perfect, 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 perfect. I mean, the card speaks perfectly for itself so no further clarification needed there because that was literally the whole basis really of this reading i mean that was the energy that we started off with was following your dreams following your desires your goals following your dreams So if you needed a sign, which I'm pretty sure you don't because you already probably saw him. But here's one more sign for you. Goodness. Get it together, Autumn. <laughs> Alright, so lastly, to wrap up this reading, the last deck that I have been shuffling is the Spirit Animal Totem. We are going to get one last message and piece and advice from nature from animal spirit world that we can take away from this reading and the energy of it so let's get to it shall we one last message to take away universe what jumped onto me thank you we have oh my god the inventor what we have raccoon energy this card is so cute i literally just saw a video today oh my gosh it was on instagram where this lady had to like throw this raccoon off her porch because it started going after her her child like like going for her ankles or for her legs she like picked it up by the neck and like threw it it was so funny and like all oh, raccoons are so cute and it's funny that it's coming up again and even funnier that the raccoon energy is inventor decide on what you really want 
you have the in ingenuity I can't talk Ingenuity. I can't talk ingenuity to claim it I don't know why I could not say that right now you have the ingenuity to claim it avoid being the trickster and practice integrity you have many roles and you can juggle them well Ooh, let's get into it I cannot wait to read this All right, let's see what the raccoon energy has to tell us today. Oops, I passed it. There we go. So, raccoon energy has characteristics of creative, confident, curious, shy, secret, secret fussy, disguises, dexterity, mask, banded, adaptable, and survivor. That's so cute, their little mask. Raccoon is nature's problem solver. They can teach us that if one thing doesn't work, try something else. Their curiosity, dexterity, and intelligence helps them discover new ways to live and survive. Raccoons are able to raccoons are able hunters and know how to provide. The parents are good teachers to their children. They are dexterous with their hands. Oh, their little hand. This is in a quotes hands. <laughs> and very tidy and clean. If raccoon is your totem, you have you are very clever, useful, fast. Sorry if I pronounced this incorrectly. Fast fast dishes, creative and confident. You always find your way to your goal. You are playful and love the night. You can enjoy getting into a little trouble. <laughs> That's hilarious. The raccoon person wears many masks. Those with this totem may need to put on a new face to create greater success. Wow. Raccoon medicine can teach you to move with ease through your many roles in life whether as an associate, parent, child, friend, or partner. Raccoon people are secret keepers and need to guard against a tendency to purposely deceive. Raccoons can be tricky little bandits. If you're create, I, 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 I just, I'm sorry. <laughs> because it sounds it, like I was going to the word and I'm like, imagine it says something else. Y'all know what I want to say. <laughs> I don't know. It was just hilarious. Just intrusive thought. Anyway, your creativity and thinking expands at night. You might be a nocturnal genius like raccoon. You are playful, loving, and clever. Your gifts are many. Use them. Be fearless and go after what you really want. I'm screaming because I love this energy. It is like, it encompasses like the energy of the reading like so well. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, raccoon energy. Okay, raccoon energy asks, have you changed masks too many times and misplaced your true identity? Have you been tempted to steal or deceive? Is someone tricking or stealing from you? Look out for deception. Choose integrity. Well, I am just so pleased with this reading. Thank you so much for tuning in to this reading today. Thank you to Spirit and the Universe for coming through with these messages because love it so spot on. Thank you so much. If you did enjoy this reading video, let me know what section or what message resonated with you. Comment, let me know. I would love to know. And if you did like this video, I will also appreciate it if you did like the video. It just lets me know that you are enjoying the content. And I appreciate the support, so thank you. And if you want to keep up with my uploads, I do upload daily. And you can always hit the subscribe, the subscribe button. And hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when I do upload. Okay? Um, and I think that will do it.
yeah i think that'll wrap up this reading for today i will catch you in my next video and the next reading until next time i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next video